welcome back to edu solutions we are starting a new series from today onwards which is excel tutorial from the screen itself you must have understood that and before starting my excel tutorial i will first of all tell you what are the different ways of opening an excel sheet the first way is normal regular way i am pressing the start button and going for the options and pressing the excel icon so my excel is getting open i am using the office 365 version of excel i am clicking a new blank workbook so you can see an excel file is open i will tell you two more ways to open an excel so the next way is you have you can right click any blank space in your desktop and click on new and click on microsoft excel worksheet so a new file is opened in your desktop so i can rename it as i like so i am renaming it as test and the third option is a shortcut so there is a windows button in your keyboard and if you press windows and r key together a run command button will be open and you can type excel here and press enter then also a new excel sheet is open now let's see what are the basic features of excel first of all i will tell you the default file name for excel before if you don't give any name the default name will be book 1 book 2 book 3 etc why it is named as book because it's like a book having several pages default there is only one page it, it is not named as page it is called sheet so this is a workbook and having different sheet default one sheet and if you press the plus button here it is keep on adding so i can add n number of sheets in a excel workbook so the combination of different worksheets are called as a workbook so you can see so many rows and columns in here so the columns are named as alphabets and rows are named as numericals first of all we will see how many rows and columns are there in an excel sheet i am first going for the column the column start with a and ends with x f d so there is total of 16384 columns and let us see how many rows are there the rows are named as numericals and it is starting from 1 to 10,48,576 so there are total 10,48,576 rows are there a combination of row and column is named as a cell as every cell has its own name which is a combination of row name and column name so if i press here this is the name box and you can see it is named as d5 which is column d and row 5 i am just coloring it for easy identification so i am at d column and fifth row it is named as d5 we will enter our data in this cells i will go on in detail in my next video so why we use excels excels are basically used for mathematical functions creating graphs creating reports pivot charts equation fill data verify data etc we can also sort filter data using excel sheet so let's go on to the menu options in our next video that's all for the day keep watching this excel series and thank you once again